All right. Visualize success with path and Kanban. So let's take a look. What is a path and what is a Kanban? We've saw this before, right? On the previous videos. So if you click on a lead or an opportunity, there is a path here. Let's go to our Trailhead Playground. And right now we are on the sales app on the opportunities tab if i take a look at one of the opportunity get cloudy 50 custom sneakers see this is the stage or a path it's in right now so for example for this opportunity i want to change this oh now we are ready for negotiation or review so you click there and then mark as current stage boom and Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> but we're not done yet. That's how you can change the stage and see the path of any current record. Um, any current record of any object, not just opportunity and leads. You can also do this with custom objects. You can create the path, you know, and then on the page layout, and then set what field which will define the path and do the same thing visualize the stages or the you know the steps or the categories of any record on any object pretty cool right now what about kanban manage records in the kanban view now this is pretty cool so how do you see this okay it's all explained but let's get video mode so if i go to opportunities here and change this to all opportunities. I get a lot of questions uh, from students who are um, following along and say, oh, what happens to uh, these records that I just import? I don't see anything because they are still on the um, recent opportunities list here. And you need to change it to the all opportunities because by default, this will always load and you need to change that to all opportunities, okay? So it was on the table view like usual. Now you click on here and change to Kanban. So right now our Kanban view is grouped or this column is based on what? The stage of the opportunity. Prospecting, qualification, need analysis, value proposition. So you can see a uh, bird's eyes view on of what's going on with your opportunities you can also change stuff by drag and drop for example you know this particular opportunity now is in need analysis you can just drag it there boom look at that pretty nice right so also you can also click on this arrow and edit the opportunity and make modification for example if i change the stage of this opportunity into value proposition for example or qualification because this is blank now right change this to qualification or you can change any any field right just save that and then it's going to go there boom right so now what else can you do you can also um, filter your Kanban view. So what do you want to see? You don't want to see everything. For now, let's add the filter and I just want to see the account name is just get cloudy. Okay. Equals get cloudy. Done. And save. Boom. <laughs> we just have one. So that's how you filter stuff. Okay, let's do another filter. Let's take this out. Let's do um, not much stuff going on. I'm going to add another filter. Let's say, oh, let's say the, just the big dollar amount. The amount, you know, the amount greater than $5,000. Not $50,000, $5,000 and save. Boom. Okay, so now you only see opportunities that are larger than $5,000. Alright, so that's how you filter your Kanban view. 
you can also do charts here if you want to see you can see the pipeline by stage um, close one is that much right and you can change this and pipeline by maybe account there you can see United Oil and Gas is the is the account that has most um, deals with us so you can you can see it like that as well all right so let's go back to our trailhead what else can we do um, we've done that you can drag and drop you can move an opportunity to the next stage by dragging it and then you can edit you know we've done that click the down arrow and then hit edit to edit the opportunity we can view a chart from there we can filter the Kanban view we've done that as well oh yeah change up the Kanban view so we can change how how it uh, filters not by stages you know the columns we want to change it maybe group by type so you can do that by clicking that settings button now I want to change the Kanban settings so summarize um, by expected revenue and stage uh, no stage group by type and save boom look at that so we have three opportunities that doesn't have a type it doesn't have a type so it's not an existing customer upgrade it's not existing customer maybe somebody forgot to enter the type so you can basically set the type to any um, type by dragging it so I'm going to drag this one for existing customer this is replacement maybe and this is also existing customer all right so that's how you change up stuff pretty cool right so that's how you can use Kanban view it's also available on any other objects that you can play with um, the list view here so uh, that's pretty much it let's uh, do the quiz or challenge quiz let's do the quiz together which is not a valid way to update the status of a lead click mark status as complete in path you can do that click the desired step on the path then select mark current status yeah view the lead record edit and then change yeah change the kanban settings to body status and drag the record to the different column yeah whoa shuffle <laughs> it's not a card deck yeah that's the answer we can't do that you have a dozen open opportunities from different companies but when you check the kanban view of your all open opportunities list you only see opportunities for one account what should you do probably the filter panic uh oh select a different list view no mm, check the filter panel yep search box no try to attack more pro blah 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 yeah right all right that's all bada bing bada boom Woohoo! hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom